Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. In this tutorial, we will be creating something like this. You know, it's a very subtle animation. We do rig up some hands and move them around. I really don't know what to call this tutorial. I mean, I was thinking creative agency sort of style. I don't have, I have no idea. Uh, because there's a few uses for this. I mean, one, we're rigging up hands and animating them, working with vector graphics, and just really playing around with design. So, um, I don't know. Anyway, so we do have uh, Illustrator open here, and um, these are, I did not create these uh, vector graphics, and you will need uh, at least uh, this file to follow along with this tutorial. Um, so, the vector graphics were created from uh, freepix.com, um, and it's really cool, it's, it's a free download, um, and it comes with all these vector graphics, and it's just awesome. So, so a huge shout out to freepix.com. And you can download this file in the description because I did uh, pull out elements from this file right here from the freepx.com uh, file. And then I just basically chose what I wanted to use in After Effects. And then the one thing I did was I layered up all the um, uh, different uh, objects into their own layer. Um, and we will need to have that done like that in Illustrator. So you can download this file. Just remember this was created from freepix.com. Okay, so here we are in After Effects. Let's go ahead and import this thing. Um, and I'll go to the finder here and let's go to our project, which is, which is right here, Creative Agency. I'll drag that right into there. And it'll ask you to import kind. Make sure you click Composition and uh, layer size is just fine. And click OK. And then it creates a comp. Here is the composition right here. And real fast, let's go up to uh, Composition, Composition Settings. And let's change this to uh, 1920 by 1080. 24 frames per second is good. And then 15 seconds. I don't really care. Okay, and then what we'll do is create a new solid. Uh, and I will select the color of the background here. And we'll call this uh, background. And I'll drag this underneath our layer. And I will delete the uh, background vector. And if you create a new solid, go through layer, new solid. Sorry about that. Okay, so... So in Illustrator, I didn't really put this in any particular order. It's our job in After Effects to uh, rearrange these objects and then animate them. Since we separated the layers in Illustrator, we have all the separate layers right here. So that's really cool. What I want to do is group some of these objects together, like the hands and the uh, tablet. So let's go ahead and put that at the top there. And then I want to go to uh, Layer New Null Object. All right, and we want to set ourselves up for success here without any struggle. So I'll select the three layers right here, the hands, the gray hands, and the tablet to the null object. Um, and we'll call this, uh, you know, gray hand, all right? And so now if we move the null object, we will move the hand. And let me see, now let's go ahead and create another new null object. And let's go to the uh, orange hands and parent that over there. And let's drag these to the top. And then let's create another null object. And let's do the last set of hands here. And there you go. All right. So I color coded a couple layers here and uh, renamed it just to keep things organized. Let's go ahead and rotate this here. Let's also scale it up. And let's just position this down. And then let's go to the uh, red hands layer and let's scale that up. And let's uh, move the position on this thing. And I actually need to move that down there. There we go. It's like, where's those hands at? All right. And then we go to the um, orange here and we'll scale that up as well. And let's go ahead and move that out to be like right here. Also to keep things simple, I'll just move the anchor points on these layers just to kind of be in the center of our objects here. So move the anchor points of the null objects so things can you know be easy to move they'll move around this point so um should do that just for organization purposes and then let's go to this red hand here let's pull this out a little bit maybe scale it up a little bit more all right cool and then let's see rotate this a little bit more all right so now we have all these other objects here and we need to start organizing those objects so you know, maybe put this cup of coffee here, you know, put a cup of coffee over here, uh, and then a cup of coffee over here. And then, of course, I want to scale all these layers up too, um, and because it's just too small, but that's all right. And, you know, that should be okay. 
Oh. And then just continue to move objects around. You know, we got a pen. We don't need over here. Move the coffee down here. You know, we got some glasses. Put that here. Put the pencils in the middle of the wannabe table. <laughs> and then let's see. Let's put this calculator maybe like right over here. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just moving things around. And maybe turn this guy around completely. Because it's a phone. And I don't want to really put it. Eh, I'll put it over here. I don't care. So, you know, it's really just up to you where you want to place these objects. I, clearly, I didn't place these all in the same place as my uh, little test run here. But, but it's all right. I mean, it's really no wrong answer when you do this stuff. All right, so now we have everything organized where we want to go. You're probably asking, well, you scale things up. But does it not lose quality? Well, what we can do, since these are vector objects, is click this little icon right here. Uh, it's a little vector uh, icon, which basically... If you click it, hold it down for all the layers, uh, you will retain the uh, uh, you know quality of that. So if I undo this, you see it gets a little bit soft, but then if I uh, turn it up back on, it gets nice and sharp. I don't know if you can see that on YouTube, um, but um, trust me, hit that button. You'll keep the quality for each of your layers you know, completely sharp. So that's important. So now that we have organized our project, let's go ahead and animate these things. So let's start with, uh, I don't know, let's start with the gray hand. And we'll see what hand we want to move. So we want this right hand to move. So what we'll do is we'll go to the puppet tool. All right, so uh, before we click anything, um, I know I just said you want to click this vector button. However, when you the puppet tool does not work with uh, a layer being completely rasterized. So what you have to do is just make sure that's not checked. So this won't be completely sharp, but no one's going to notice since we haven't scaled up too much. So my suggestion is if you have a small object like this, just scale it up in Illustrator. Um, and you're probably saying, whatever. Anyway, so anyway, let's go ahead and click a point right here and right here and right there. So now we have three points. And the only point that I really care about is the, this point right here. So let's go ahead and open up the mesh and go to deform and go to puppet pin three. Um, and that's this pin right here. And let's go to like two seconds. And let's like, you know, move hit this right here. And then go to like four seconds and move this right here. And then I'll just go to six seconds and we'll call it a, a day. All right, so now we have uh, an animation. Of course, you can have some animation to the screen, but we're not gonna do that in this tutorial. And what I like to do is go to our null object where it says gray hand and hit P on our keyboard, alt click the stopwatch and type in wiggle, in parentheses, 0.5 comma, Hmm, maybe 10. So now we have, you know, movement on this entire group here, which is really cool. You know, and then let's go to uh, this hand right here and, you know, maybe put this hand like right here like that. Um, we'll go to uh, this right hand over here, the right right hand, and let's just move it down here. And instead of doing the puppet tool, um, which I think I did in my demo, but, you know, for this tutorial, I'll just hit P on my keyboard and we'll go to position and let's go to like, you know, two seconds. And I don't think there's anything wrong with this. Um, I think this is actually just fine. And we'll just you know move around here, add some points, and now we have some animation. And then, like once again, we'll hit P on our keyboard on the uh, red hand null object and type in wiggle uh, 0.5 10 and close parentheses. So now we have this going on here. All right, and then for uh, this one, we have to animate. Looks like two layers here. So uh, let's see, what hand is that? That is the orange hand. So we'll start with uh, this hand right here. And once again, we'll do the position uh, thing once again. Uh, you know, put it there, go to two seconds, you know, go to four seconds. You know, let me just type this thing here. All right, then we got that. And then also for, uh, I want to add a little bit more variation to that. So what I'll do is go to effect, uh, distort, transform, and I'll, cl I'll click the uh, position here and I'll type in wiggle uh, 0.5 comma 10, close from C. Uh, so it's nothing is really consistent there. It looks pretty cool. And then same thing for the, the left hand. I'll put this down here and we'll just have them wiggle this one and we'll just type in wiggle again. So 0.5 comma 10, boom. 
And let's actually, let's rotate this arm a little bit. And let's put that like right there. Now we got some, so now we've added movement to this animation. We've rearranged everything and it looks great. So this tutorial isn't about text, but let's go ahead and add some text. Um, and I'll type in, you know, welcome to sunduck.com. All right, promotion man. And I got lucky with the text because obviously my demo there, um, you know, I had it set to this, but anyway, there's this. Okay, so now here's the fun part. What we wanna do is enable motion blur for all of the layers, of course. Um, maybe not the background layer. And then we wanna also make all these layers 3D layers. Okay, so now we need to create a new null object. And let's parent all the layers to this null object. Um, so I'll select all the layers that are not parented to any to the previous null object. So uh, these weren't uh, parented. And then we want to select all the other null objects and also the text layer here and parent that to the new null object. And we'll call this you know, camera control. All right. And we'll also make that 3D. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll hit P on our keyboard on camera control null layer and click the stopwatch. Let's move that to, I don't know, one second. Eh, you know what, let's, yeah, one second. Let's move that to uh, one second and 12 frames. And then let's move this thing out just like this. So everything will fall into place and let's make this last keyframe an easy as keyframe by hitting F9 on my keyboard. So I'll select that keyframe and hit F9. So this thing will come in just like that and yeah, turn on motion blur for that. And then enable motion blur at the top here. And now motion blur will turn on and we have this animation going on. So to add some icing to the cake, what I'll do is select all the layers here and go up to layer, pre-compose, and we'll just call this graphic. All right, and just, I don't know, you don't have to do this, but I'll hit S on my keyboard under the graphic layer, go to, you know, six seconds, and we'll just add just a little bit of motion to this. And that just looks awesome. So if you have any questions, please drop down a comment. And if this tutorial has helped you, please drop a like. It helps me out tremendously. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And also check out my social media links in the description. And guys, thank you so much for watching. And hopefully I will see you soon.